Hey guys, Greg Benz here with a quick overview of some of the awesome new luminosity selection capabilities in Lumenzio version 5. In this image, I want to create more separation of this tree from its background. It's a major subject in the image, but it's getting lost. I just have too much close shadow detail in this image. It's not jumping out. I also want to lighten up some of this background a little bit and make it look like the sun is sweeping across more of the landscape to just add a little bit more the drama of the, the sun rays and this early morning sun here. That's a job that's tailor made for dodging on this scene. We want to lighten the tones, but we don't want to do it indiscriminately. I just want to lighten shadow tones that aren't too dark because the backside of these tree, the back of these rocks where it's black or near black, those tones are great and we want to leave them in deep shadow because if we lighten them up, we'll lose contrast. We'll also lose a sense of the sun sweeping across the scene. It's those dark shadows that tell us where the sun is coming from. So we want to leave them alone. So before we create that selection though, let's quickly create a dodge burn layer. So we have something to work with. I'm just going to create a regular transparent layer. We're ready to go. All we need to do now is create our selection. And we can do that by switching over to the new live selection mode. So click on preview, drop down to live S for live selection. And now all these buttons that have turned red, they're available for us to create selections immediately. I can, for example, click on zone 10 and I get a selection of zone 10 in the image of the sun and these bright clouds. So the selection we actually want is going to be the dark parts of the image. So let's click on the darks and we can see most of the image is pretty dark because that's really kind of the problem here. But we need to modify this selection a little bit. Like I said, we don't want to paint on the darkest parts of the background. So we can subtract a more specific dark selection by hitting the new minus button, the subtract button, and now click on dark six. So we now have a selection of darks minus the dark six. That is things that are dark in the image, but not too close to black. And of course, the marching ants are just a lot to look at here. So I'm going to hide them by hitting command H but we know that we still have an active selection because the selection button is green and we're ready to begin dodging and burning. So I'm gonna click on my brush. I already have a light colored paint ready to go and just at kind of a moderate opacity and a very low flow can begin to create some directional rays across the scene. And it's pretty subtle, but let's look at what we've already done with a couple of quick strokes from before to after. We're really bringing out a lot more definition in that tree. And of course, I can spend a lot more time really trying to draw this thing out, get even more separation as much as I want to, but you can immediately see the value of this technique to target the exact tones you want by simply adding, subtracting, or even multiplying, intersecting different selections to get very targeted selections for your dodging and burning or whatever else you might be doing with selections in Lumenzia. Hope you enjoyed that. That's just a quick preview of what's possible so you can hit the ground running and start to get some value to the new features, but there's so much more to explore with the selection. So hit me with any questions you have and I will continue to create some more videos to show you all the great ways that you can use these new capabilities. For more information about Lumenzia, please go to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.